Installing non-Steam games on Valve's Steam Deck used to be a bit of a hassle, but with non-Steam launchers, the process has become much simpler. This tool integrates non-Steam stores automatically into Proton, making it easy to add your favorite games from various platforms. In today's episode, let's get into how to set it up and more details around it. Setting up non-Steam launchers. The setup for non-Steam launchers is probably one of the easiest you'll encounter for the Steam Deck. To get started, you'll need to switch to desktop mode. Hit the Steam button, head to the power menu, and press switch to desktop. Once you're in desktop mode, open your internet browser and navigate to the project's GitHub page. From there, download the script by clicking the big colorful button. After downloading, move the script somewhere outside of your downloads folder and double click it to execute. If you're using Decky plugins on your device, non-Steam Launcher is also available in that store. Follow the on-screen instructions to install it. For those who prefer a manual installation, continue reading for detailed steps. Manual Installation of Non-Steam Launchers After downloading the script and executing it, a menu will appear. Before you start checking boxes, it's important to install and update Proton GE. This step ensures that your Steam Deck is ready to run non-Steam games smoothly. Click the Install Proton GE button at the top of the menu and wait for the installation to complete. Once Proton GE is installed, you can start checking boxes for each launcher you want to install. These include major players like Epic and EA, as well as the home of indie developers Itch.io. After selecting the desired launchers, hit the Install button. Non-Steam Launcher will automatically set up the Proton environments for each launcher. By default, it will place all the launchers under the same environment, but you can choose to separate them by selecting the top checkbox. The only reason you might want to separate the launchers is if you plan to move the files produced for each launcher to their respective areas on the device or in external storage. After the installation is complete, you can return to gaming mode by clicking the icon on your desktop or restarting your device using non-Steam Launcher. With non-Steam Launcher installed, you'll find icons for all the launchers you selected under non-Steam games in your library. These icons will start the actual launchers for the games, emulated as if you were on a Windows system. Since Proton acts as a Windows emulator, non-Steam Launcher does the heavy lifting in setting up these environments. Instead of relying on API keys or external launchers like Lutris and Heroic, non-Steam Launcher emulates the store in a faux Windows environment. When you install something via the Epic Store, for instance, it will still list the designated location as a Windows file structure. This means you can access games that were originally thought to be off-limits, such as Mahoyo's latest game, Zenless Zone Zero, and Genshin Impact. Related Tips in addition to non-Steam Launcher, there are other ways to expand your gaming library on the Steam Deck. For example, you can also play Amazon Prime games on your device. Similar to the steps above, you'll need to switch to desktop mode and use a browser to navigate to the Amazon Prime gaming page. From there, you can download and install games just like you would on a PC. Troubleshooting and Tips If you run into any issues while setting up or using non-Steam Launcher, there are a few things you can try. First, make sure that Proton GE is up to date. You can check for updates by returning to the non-Steam Launcher menu and hitting the Update Proton GE button. If a specific launcher isn't working, try reinstalling it from the non-Steam Launcher menu. Another tip is to keep your Steam Deck software updated. Valve regularly releases updates that can improve performance and compatibility with various games and applications. To check for updates, go to the Settings menu in Gaming Mode and select System Update. Installing non-Steam games on your Steam Deck has never been easier thanks to non-Steam launchers. This tool simplifies the process by integrating non-Steam stores into Proton, allowing you to enjoy a wider variety of games on your device. Whether you're a fan of AAA titles from Epic and EA or indie gems from itch.io, non-Steam Launcher has you covered. Follow the steps outlined in this guide to set it up and start expanding your gaming library today. Happy gaming! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below letting us know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you in the next one.